Assalamu alaikum dear student. Again we are here for an English class. How are you all? Have you enjoyed your weekend? And have all of you done your homework? I hope all of you have done your homework. Okay dear students, today we are going to start our new lesson. That is lesson number two, unit one. And that lesson is about a poem. And what is the name of the poem? The name of the poem is A Night in June. Before starting a poem, let me tell you about what is a poem. A poem is a piece of writing in which the expression of feelings and ideal is given. Poet writes a poem and poet express his or her feelings in the poem. Like the way you express your feeling. When you are happy, you express your feeling by singing, by dancing. Same like when you are sad, you express your feeling by crying. Poet express his or her feelings and ideas in the piece of writing. And what do we call that piece of writing? We call that piece of writing a poem, right? This is the meaning of the poem, a piece of writing in which the expression of feelings and ideas is given. Here are some words to know. These words are used in the poem and you have to learn these words to know too. Cuckoo. What is cuckoo? Cuckoo is actually a type of bird. All of you have seen cuckoo. I will show you its pic. Gushes. Gushes is a sound of water. Gushes is a sound of flowing water, falling water. Piping. Piping is the name. Piping is the sound of. Piping is the sound of birds. Sovereign spirit. Thrush, a type of birds, small birds. Jet, still, even now. These are the words to know which are used in the poem. Now look at this gushing. I have told you what the gushing is sound of falling water. Now listen to this sound. The sound of falling water. This is called gushing. Next, rushing. Rushing is the sound of blowing wind. Sound of blowing wind. Thrushes, thrushes, small birds. Thrushes, right? Small birds. Here is the cuckoo. This is the voice of cuckoo. All of you have heard that voice. Now, book page nine. Poem, A Night in June. Here the poet, William Wordsworth. William Wordsworth wrote this poem. And this poem is about a night and a night or night in June, in the month of June. Which month is going on? The June month is going on. And the poet expressed his feelings when he sat outside. He observed one night in the month of June and he expressed his feelings over here. He heard so many sounds and he became happy. Now look at the poem. I'm going to recite the poem. The sun has long been set. The stars are out by twos and threes. The little birds are piping jet among the bushes and trees. There is a cuckoo and one or two thrushes and a far off wind that rushes and a sound of water that gushes and the cuckoo's sovereign cry fills all the hollow of the sky. Now look at the first two lines. The sun has long been set. There are two meanings for this line. The sun took long time to set in June. Or it has been the long time the sun has set. The stars are out by twos and threes. Few stars are appearing on the sky. The poet is seeing two, a few stars in the sky. The little birds are piping jet. The little birds are still singing. Still the voice is coming. And from where the voice is coming? Uh, among the bushes and trees. Because when the sun set, the little birds keep themselves safe in the bushes and trees. And the noise is coming from there. What are the birds? The birds are cuckoo, one or two thrushes. What are the sounds the poet heard 
and the far off wind that rushes, the sound of blowing wind, the sound of rushing wind, and the sound of water that gushes somewhere the water is falling, and sound of water, that sound of water is heard by the poet, and the cuckoo's sovereign cry fills all the hollow of the sky. Among all these sounds, which sound is superior? The, the sound of cuckoo's voice. Cuckoo's voice is superior than all of the sounds heard by the poet because the cuckoo's voice is loud. Now, the poem is clear to you. Look at students, look at the last words of each of the line. The sun has long been set. The stars are out by twos and threes. The little birds are piping yet. Now look at this line. The sun has long been set. The little birds are piping yet. Set and yet. They are both are having the same ending sound. And what do we call them? We call them a rhyming words. And poem, mostly poem have mostly poems have rhyming words in them. The stars are out by twos and threes, among the bushes and trees, trees and trees. They are also rhyming. Their ending sound is same. There is a cuckoo and one or two thrushes, and a far off wind that rushes, and a sound of water that gushes, thrushes, rushes, gushes. They are having the same ending sound, so they are rhyming with each other. And the cuckoo's sovereign cry fills all the hollow of the sky. Cry, sky. They are also rhyming with each other. Now, what are rhyming words? Having similar ending sounds. What are rhyming words? Having similar ending sound. Same like set, jet, get, bet, trees, trees, thrushes, gushes, rushes. They all are having the same ending sound. Sky, sky, cry, sky, why? They are having the same ending sound and having same ending sound, similar ending sounds. These words are called rhyming words and mostly poem have, have rhyming words, right? Now what you have to do, you have to underline these rhyming words in your book. Next, I'm going to tell you the rhyming pattern, the rhyming scheme. Rhyming words make pattern. They make rhyming scheme. Like the way here. Look at the words which I have underlined and which I have highlighted. Set, jet, trees, trees. Now here, look at the first line. The sun has long been set. I call it small a. The set is, I give the name small a. a. Now, trees rhyme with set? No, trees don't rhyme with set. So I gave it small b. Well, it's different so next small b the little birds are piping jet jet rhyme with that small a set and the name of the small a uh, set is small a now the jet rhyme with set so i gave the same letter to jet that is small a among the bushes and trees now this trees rhyme with trees so i gave same letter to trees that is small b so the rhyming scheme of the first four lines are A, B, A, B. Okay, this is called the rhyming pattern. This is called the rhyming scheme. Now look at the next three lines. And there is a cuckoo and one or two thrushes. And a far off wind thrushes. Now this thrushes does not rhyme with, not rhyme with set, not yet, not trees, not trees. So I will not give it small a or small b. I will give it the next letter and that is small c. And a four of wind that rushes. Rushes rhyme with thrushes. So again, same letter, small c. And the sound of water that gushes, small c. Because it rhymes with rushes, it rhymes with thrushes. Now here the rhyming pattern is a, b, a, b, c, c, c. A, b, a, b, c, c, c. Now look at the last two lines. And the cuckoo's sovereign cry, now this cry does not rhyme with any of the previous word. It does not rhyme with any of the previous word. So I gave it a new letter that is small d. 
fills all the hollow of the sky. Sky rang with cry. I gave it the same letter that is small d. Now the rhyming pattern or the rhyming scheme of the poem A Night in June is A, B, A, B, C, 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 D, D. Now look at the rhyming pattern. The rhyming pattern is A, B, A, B, C, 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 D, D. This is the rhyming pattern of the poem. And I have told you how you have to make the rhyming pattern. You will make the rhyming pattern by looking at the rhyming words. Is it clear to you? Up till, uh, I think today it's enough for you people. Uh, look at the poem again. The sun has long been set. The poet is expressing his feelings um, about the night in the June. And the poet uh, has uh, heard so many sounds uh, which he has mentioned here. And above all them, which um, voice is superior over here? Cuckoo's voice is superior over here. Then we learn about the rhyming words. The rhyming words have a similar ending sound. Set, yet, trees, trees. And next comes the rhyming pattern. The rhyming pattern is um, made from the rhyming words. And we have made the rhyming pattern. And the rhyming pattern is A, B, A, B, C, C, D, D. Now it's time for your homework. Your homework is you have to learn words to know and solve question number three, four, and five of book page 10. You have to do these questions on your book. Stay blessed, all of you, my dear students. Thank you.